welcome back to my channel or channels depends on where you're watching from the african keto diet or martha's world today we'll be making um almond milk yes and um i wanted to say a thing or two before i go into the process the easiest way to make almond milk i have a video of how you make almond milk there are so many videos out there of how you make almond milk and believe me homemade is the best you're sure of what you're putting into your system you're sure it's fresh every time and then you can control it without no addictives no uh, preservatives and things like that because any almond milk on the shelf there, something must have been added to keep it from going bad. Even when it goes bad in your fridge, talk less of when you have it out on the shelf. So, but when you think about the process of like, um, blanching your almond, blending it and things like that, it becomes a, a daunting task. So today I'm going to show you how I make fresh almond milk every morning or as at when needed. I don't have to go through the process of making a batch. I just make the portion that I want at that point in time. And then the, um, the, uh, the pulp or the shaft that comes out of it, I put them in Ziploc bags and then when I get enough, I use it in my baking or whatever I want to use it for. So let me show you the easiest way to make almond milk. This is your almond seed. This is the way it comes. And this is your almond flour. Except I'm having this as a nut in something, something. Normally I just buy the flour. So what I do is um this is about two tablespoons of almond flour soaked in water but if you don't have time to soak if you soak it you you give it time to absorb the water and rise but it depends on the kind of blender you use if you have a blender you feel um is not that strong you could soak it in water to help your blender along so that you don't have to use too much water to blend. Vitamix is one of the best blenders I've seen, so that is what I use. I'm just gonna add water to my blender first, so that the flour doesn't stick to the bottom. And I'm having about two heap spoon full, but it depends on what you wanna do with it. So I bring my trusted sieve, but because this thing is um, big, I folded it in four. So there you have your fresh almond milk you can use this like this or you could decide to add more water and sieve this a bit more but I like using my almond flour like this the especially if I want to eat them in the same meal maybe make um, almond pancake or something like that I could use this for the pancake and then use the milk for my tea, my coffee or chocolate drink or whatever. <laughs> 